up? Radical just uploaded. So a new Sonic Generations mod just dropped, and we're going for this video. So let's get started. So here is Wimbo Out Act 5, and actually a built from the ground up stage for this game. It's not no existing stage in Unleash or like some like lost stage. It's like a brand new stage made from scratch for this mod. And like from what I've seen of it, it looked pretty cool. I mean it Someone actually made a... Well, actually, this mod came out uh, around October, but this is a new version that just dropped. Because that was for the Sonic Hacking Contest, and like this one is now on Game Banana, so I'll put it in the description down below. But, like, from what I've seen a bit, like, it looks... Looks... Looks, like, official. It's like an actual stage of Sonic Team will make. Like, the old Sonic Team. Not the new Sonic Team, though. Like, this is something that, like, the old Sonic Team will make, personally. And it actually feels like a stage from, like, the... Unleash DLC. Oh my god, tough. But there's actually um, a sunset and a night version of this stage, so we go over those in the rest of the video. Because there's a lot of pathways that this stage has that I want to like go through. So yeah. But like, dude, like this stage literally. This is giving me like a lot of like Unleash Wii vibes a bit, because like most of the time we're like in like the um, like grass side of Wimma Isle actually. That's how it was on the Wii version. Act 1 actually too. Act 2 like you're in the town of Wimma Isle, but here like you're like going through like the grass, going through like grind rails, seeing waterfalls everywhere. Oh, oh, this looks cool. Now I'm seeing the Unleash Wii inspiration here. Like this is so cool. You get to like run on the walls too, which is amazing. I gotta say though, like Unleash, like the only Sonic game I feel like where the boost gameplay peaked in terms of level design. Like Gens was pretty good though too, but like, but Unleash is a game that I feel like that that's where Sonic actually like peaked with the boost formula basically. Cause like you go from like running from water, running on walls, grinding on rails, like going through like rooftops and stuff like that too. Like it was just amazing. Level design was pretty cool too. Shoot. I'm in the lower path, unfortunately. But man, like, this is really, once again, feels like a stage that, like, Sega will make. Well, Sonic Team will make. And in the stage, pretty cool. But we're gonna go for the Sunset stage next, so let's do that. And look at that. Got an S rank. Amazing. So this is the morning version of the stage. I meant sunset. I mean, it's technically sunset because it's the morning, but yeah, it's still sunset. I'm gonna try to perfect here, basically. Uh, over here. Oh, bro! Okay. I thought I died for a second. Right over here. Light speed dash here. Pretty cool. I also have this mod on that like once you get like more rings you get like extra speed. Which is pretty cool. I think it's a thing in Unleash actually too. Like you get enough rings you go fast. But this is a pretty cool idea to have as a mod. Alright let's uh... Over here! Perfect. The higher part and... We go back to here, and then right here. It's the same path as like uh, before. Up, oh, missed that red ring. I guess it's pretty much the same for the rest of the level, basically. And the path we go to. You also got great too. Sonic Unleashed like one of the best looking Sonic games of all time. Like, Jens was pretty good, but like it's not as good as Unleash Code. But I mean, it made sense to uh, have the game perform better on console in terms of frame rate. Like Unleash is like literally a game that I feel like is made from the future. Like, visually, like, it rivals a lot of, like, modern games. And, like, Frontiers look pretty good, though. But, like, you can still feel the budget for that. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait. Clutch save right there. Like, Frontiers look pretty good, though. But, like, you can tell it's budgeted. Like, the lighting is amazing. Tough, tough. Oh. I thought it was a platform right there. But, like, this version of uh, Act 5, actually, is that, like, there's some new pathways. I played the first one actually too, when it dropped, and it was pretty good. But this one it makes it a lot better because it has like more variety of pathways to go for, and like it's overall better. This sage in sunset it's like so beautiful. Like I love um seeing the sunset a lot. Like when I'm out, it's like the morning and stuff like that too. It's just beautiful to see. Got another ice strength too. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, on to nighttime, and it got the nighttime music of the sage playing, which is pretty cool. These like multiple pathways are so cool. Like this is like all I want in the Sonic Stage. Like the most important part of Sonic Stage is too. Like doesn't matter getting to the goal ring. What matters the most is like find the alter routes to reach the goal ring. I'm gonna go the lower part here. Go for the booty loops. 
pretty cool stuff. And like the Warhog music is actually like the best part of the soundtrack in the game. Too bad most of it gets interrupted by the battle theme, which I mean, it's pretty good, but at the same time it's like, okay, do that. Look at that. Over here, pretty cool stuff. I really wish that like every sage had their own Warhawk battle theme. Like for like Spagonia and like Apadot or Missouri. Like change the theme for it like fits the overall like stage. I would definitely take that over like hearing the same battle theme over and over again. Bruh. That is crazy. And I really enjoy the Warhog in the HD version. The Wii version sucks. But like it's nice change the gameplay style honestly too. I mean like as a kid I was like and eh, the Warhog like not my type of style, I mean, I was more about speed, but like later on, like I played more of the game. I, I grew to love the Warhog a lot. Oh my god. Hold up and go back here. We're not going back there again. There we go. But the Warhog was actually like a pretty like interesting gameplay style. I mean, sure it sounds goofy on paper, but like it actually was pretty good too. And I argue the Warhog combat is better than the one in Frontiers, honestly, too. Like, Frontiers combat is pretty good, too, but, like, most of the stuff is kind of, like, basic. Like, Warhog, you have more variety of range of attacks, which I love. And got an A ring, which is still pretty solid. But, yeah, really fun mod. Catch y'all later. Peace. <laughs>